These learning secrets are based on Professor Barbara Oakley's research. Barbara is a professor at Oakland University, in the USA. We would now like to share with you the 10 most important learning rules which Professor Oakley has identified. Rule number one is called chunking. When applying the chunking rule, try to pretend that you are trying to learn a song. When you're learning a song, you play it over and over again in your mind. In this way, the information combines into a chunk you can access when needed. Rule number two is called spacing. Because your brain is like a muscle, and it needs a break now and again, you need to space your learning. What this means is that you don't try to learn everything at once. Because for the purpose of learning, it's better to spread the learning out over time. Rule number three is called thinking. The most important thing to remember about this rule is that you should do the hardest thinking and problem solving early in the day when you and your mind are fresh. Rule number four is called contrasting. Contrasting means that you are periodically reminding yourself of the desired outcome. To benefit from contrasting, try to dream of where your learning is taking you, for example, the outcomes, insights, solutions, etc. And then create a picture of words to describe that desired outcome. Rule number five is called questioning. To help you question, try to consider how you could explain a problem, or a challenge, etc. Also try to explain this in a way that a 10-year-old could understand. Using analogies can also help you when questioning. Rule number 6 is called focusing. In order to focus best on a matter, Professor Oakley recommends that you turn off all things which interrupt your thinking, including your phone, computer, etc. Then it can be useful to set a timer for 20 minutes and to focus on the one thing you are working on. This method is often referred to as the Pomodoro technique. Rule number seven is called alternating. Alternating means that you learn to practice different techniques for learning. You should learn to do this because a single approach to learning is suboptimal. To practice alternating, try writing things down, creating pictures, or constructing a quiz on the matter of problem you are addressing. Rule number eight for learning better is called breaking. Taking breaks from a problem or a challenge allows the brain to take over and do some thinking in the background. Breaks are vital for deeper learning to occur. Rule number nine for enhancing your learning is called recalling. Try to frequently recall the main ideas of what you are learning. Or try generating ideas from within yourself. To do this effectively, always be asking yourself, I wonder what this means? And finally, Professor Barbara Oakley's tenth rule for better learning is called testing. Frequently testing yourself is essential if you wish to convert data and information into knowledge. Therefore, use any and every method you can to test yourself. For example, recalling, applying, asking others' opinions, etc. Furthermore, real learning is hard work, and we shouldn't get too fixated on immediate outcomes. Finally, Professor Oakley reminds us that, learning has to be done on a lifetime basis.